It's important to invest in the transportation infrastructure. It is a large asset. It is aging. Uh, it carries a lot of traffic every day. And really what we want to do when we're investing in infrastructure is the right project at the right place at the right time. Because that helps us maintain that asset over a larger number of years. It extends the life cycle and it helps us manage the uh, infrastructure very well. A couple of years ago, our Transportation Finance Advisory Council, or TFAC committee, spent about a year identifying needs of the transportation system. And their best estimate is that over the next 20 years, uh, we are about $12 billion under what we need to be able to invest to, meet, to remain economically competitive um, for our, our needs of our state. In addition, uh, the needs of the system in Minnesota are great. Uh, across the country, there are lots of needs for transportation infrastructure as well. And the Highway Trust Fund that uh, funds transportation projects across the country is scheduled to uh, be um, out of money by October 1st. And actually, we believe it's going to be out of money uh, quite a bit earlier than that. And so the same debate that is taking place in Minnesota about infrastructure, transportation systems, and maintaining a healthy system uh, is going on at a national level. And we're very concerned about that as well. So we want to make sure that we identify uh, what it is that's needed to take care of our system and, and how we're going to get the funds to, uh, to take care of it. An example from home here in Minnesota is that in the year 2000, about 990 miles of our roadways were in need of repair. We have since um, done an analysis that looks at the same set of roadways and about 1,980 miles of those same roadways are now in need of repair as of 2013. So that's a doubling of the infrastructure in the roadway system that needs some kind of, of highway repair. When we're dealing with infrastructure, talking about the transportation system, climate and weather takes a toll on our system every day. And this past winter, 2013-2014, was one of our worst winters ever with a lot of cold weather, a lot of snow, a lot of ice, and, and that takes a big toll on especially pavement infrastructure because any blemish in the pavement, moisture gets in there and it really does a number on it. And so when we talk about winter weather and we're looking at 2013-14, we spent about $130 million on snow and ice this past season, which is about $50 million more than our average spending. So each year, uh, we not only have to spend dollars to operate and maintain that system and make sure that it's passable for people, but we also have to um, deal with the impacts of the snow and ice season, the freeze and thaw on the pavement itself and how that makes it uh, less robust and increases the need for investment in the pavement conditions to make sure they're in good, good repair. There are several reasons why we need to invest in transportation. Uh, our, our economy is growing every year. Um, people need to get where they want to go. Uh, folks want to make the trip from A to B, from home to church, from home to work, from home to school, or wherever it is that they, they feel that they need to travel across our state. The population is increasing and uh, the baby boomers, such as myself, are getting older. They're going to have different needs. They're going to retire. The workforce is going to be replaced with millennial generation folks who have different views on how transportation should work. Uh, and, you know, we're trying to accommodate that by building additional uh, light rail transit lines. We just opened the green line here from St. Paul to Minneapolis this past weekend and uh, there are just a lot of different reasons for why we should invest in transportation. Um, in addition, I don't know if folks know this, but tourism is a very big industry in the state of Minnesota. Uh, 40 million visitors a year come to the Mall of America, not to mention the fact that we have 10,000 of the most beautiful lakes you'd ever want to see, so we want to be able to provide people with the ability to get to those lakes, to that mall, and to enjoy everything that our state has to offer. As we talk about infrastructure and transportation needs, um, we have a strategic goal at our department to enhance our financial effectiveness. That is not purely to generate funding, although it, it will help us tell the story of why uh, we should uh, receive additional funds, but it is to be transparent about the needs, to be able to communicate well with our stakeholders, 
to help uh, be efficient and talk about how efficient we are in the work that we do here at MnDOT. We are really interested in making sure that people understand what we do, how we do it, how much it costs, and how effective we are at it because there are a lot of people working at our department every day that do their best to provide the most efficient, effective service possible. Uh, we want to make sure we engage our, our employees, our customers, the legislature, the citizens of the state of Minnesota, and the business community in talking about this and making sure that we are as effective as possible because no matter how efficient an agency is or, uh, or a transportation system is, there is also going to be the need for increased funding to help us deal with the issues that are coming uh, at us over the next 20 years. And as the population increases, the system ages, and our economy grows and, and changes, we need to be able to grow and change with that to be as effective and efficient as possible and to provide people with the transportation system that will take us into the future. And that is sustainable.